Feeding birds bread is something that a lot of us do or probably have done at one point or another in our life. It may seem harmless. After all, what is a little bit of bread going to do? Well, it may be surprising to learn that it's actually harmful to birds. In fact, bread is basically junk food. Even parks that have waterfowl often have signs up asking people to please not feed the birds bread, but I think this goes unnoticed sometimes. While you may think that you are giving them an easy meal, the truth is you are only providing them with empty calories. Bread and other bread products aren't very nutritious. A lot of the nutritional content is lost due to the heavy processing, and furthermore, the bread of today tends to contain salt, sugar, and preservatives. None of these things are good for humans, let alone birds or other animals. The only thing those foods do is help to take their hunger away for a period of time by filling them up. But they do not provide them with the nutrition they require to be healthy, such as protein for muscles and feathers, or healthy fats for energy. What's more is that while they are full on bread, they feel no need to forage for their natural nutritious food. Not good. One fatal condition known as angel wing is thought to be directly related to birds fed unhealthy food. And guess what birds tend to end up with angel wing? Birds like swans and ducks that live around areas that have people, such as parks, where bread is very common thing people feed these birds. These poor birds often end up dying, especially if they are adults, because the condition cannot be reversed at that point. They can't fly away from predators or migrate for winter, Thus, they starve or freeze to death. In young birds, however, it can be reversed by feeding them nutritional diet, usually by a licensed rehabilitator. Furthermore, birds like swans and ducks fed large amounts of bread and other unhealthy food can get obese, malnourished, and aggressive to one another. Developing chicks don't get the nutrients needed for growth, causing them to become aggressive and develop diabetes and hypertension. Another problem with bread is that it has the potential to grow mold pretty quickly. And mold is extremely toxic to birds. And bread that is thrown into the water for ducks can rot if not eaten, thus polluting water and creating surface algae which give the birds disease. Birds that are eating a lot of bread end up defecating more frequently too. And the more bird poop around, the more chances of disease being spread. Double not good. You may be thinking, well, you mentioned that large quantities are bad, so I can give them a little. While that may be true, very small amounts may not harm them, you should consider this. If you are feeding birds a little bit of bread and 10 other people are, then it's no longer a small amount. It all adds up. And also, how do we determine what is a little bit? What you consider a small amount may not be the same as another person. Besides all of this, though, no matter how small of an amount, it still provides no nutritional value. So it's best to just skip the bread altogether and offer them better sources of food. For our garden birds, such as jays, chickadees, and others, offer them the old tried and true, things like suet, black oil or safflower seeds, and unsalted peanuts whole or shelled. For the waterfowl at the park, bring food like pellets and seeds. Both are inexpensive and will provide nutrition. You can even try some cracked corn, bird seed, finely chopped lettuce, and vegetable trimmings that are small enough for their mouths. But I think I would go so far as to say don't feed the ducks or swans at your local park at all. Being fed by humans can cause them to lose their natural fear of people. Instead, bring a camera and watch them from afar. You never know what you will witness them do. And it's pretty rewarding when you get that nice picture or cool video. One final word of advice. To make sure you are feeding birds proper food, do research for your local area to ensure that the food you feed the birds is needed and therefore beneficial. Different birds in different locations have different needs. I know that most people don't mean to do harm, but sometimes we just don't know any better. Now with this knowledge, you can offer our wonderful feathered friends the best feeding experience. By doing that, you will feel good too. For further information from credible sources, I will leave a few links in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Take care and happy birding. 
If you'd like to support my channel, the very best way is by liking this video or sharing it with other fellow birders. One other way is by visiting my shop at leslythebirdner.com where you can get a little something back at the same time or a gift for a friend or loved one. Thank you for the support.